Hi everyone, welcome to Sports Broadcasting Center. I'm Davin Ross, along with James Spector and Andrew Pacravan. The NBA Finals will have a different feel this year. Missing is an NBA icon. From 2007 to 2020, one of three NBA superstars, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, or Stephen Curry, were participants in the championship round, but not this year. Also missing are some of the league's most prominent franchises. The Lakers, Warriors, Celtics, and Bulls, Bulls and Heat, it is a strange year for a league that loves the brand name, but it is also perfect. But it is also a perfect time for new stars and new franchises to emerge as the games of best. One area of focus for NBA teams this offseason is how they manage player health. Dealing with the coronavirus was the league's top priority this season, but players were also sidelined at a much higher rate with non-COVID illnesses. This year's All-Stars missed 19% of games, the highest percentage in a season in NBA history, according to the Elias Sports Bureau. Denver Nuggets coach Michael Malone put it best, saying, quote, This has been the hardest year in my 20 years in the NBA. It's the mental toll, the physical toll, and the emotional toll. Shortly after winning his seventh Super Bowl ring in February, Tom Brady underwent surgery on his left knee, but the 43-year-old will, will still be ready to go when he starts his 22nd season on September 9th. When the Buccaneers face the Cowboys, Tampa Bay will try to become the first team to repeat as the Super Bowl champions since the 2003-2004 New England Patriots. Brady says the team will be approaching the Bucs differently this season and that the Bucs team are ready. Everybody will be watching. In a year when no candidates were elected into the Baseball Hall of Fame, Cooperstown will still hold an enshrinement ceremony honoring the class of 2020. The outdoor induction ceremony will be held Wednesday, September 8th with a limited number of tickets available for fans. The class headline is former Yankee great Derek Jeter. Also being inducted are Larry Walker, Ted Simmons, and former executive director of the MLE Players Association, Marvin Miller. The most famous soccer player in the world, Barcelona forward Lionel Messi, has expressed a desire to play in the United States in the final years of his career with his contract expiring this summer. The 33-year-old Messi has reportedly been Recorded by Major League Soccer's Inter Miami, where former superstar David Beckham is co owner. Messi has been associated with Barcelona for 20 years, but he recently purchased a $7 million condo in Miami. It could be an interesting fall in South Florida. That's it for a busy day in sports. For my co anchors, James Spector and Andrew Pacravan, I'm Davin Ross. Thanks for watching Sports Broadcasting Center.